Welcome here. So we're starting a mini series here. Just a short little sweet one. It's been a long time since I've had a refurbishment video and I've got an itch. So we're going to itch it. This is a Pulaski and it's a BC service Pulaski and it has this huge chip out of it. So it's a bit of a basket case and we're going to start by uh, fixing this guy up. I like that this is actually, um, for how thin this is, which is sort of surprising and long, there is actually pretty good girth on the sides. So I'm happy about that. Top's a little bit thinner, but it's still okay. This end is good. Just quick clean up on that. I, I personally don't like these Pulaski's as much when they twist the back here. I like it when it transfers nice, just a personal thing. And then we're gonna pick this out and we're gonna carve it like that, and you have to keep this cold when you cut. It's really important that you don't draw any temper colors when you work on this, because you want to leave this hard. We're not going to be reheating this one and doing any heat treat on it. So I've got the front uh, profiled into where I want it, ready to start sharpening. Did some work on the bottom here too, just to smooth this up for the lines. And then the back, it's gonna look really cool because it's gonna just blend right into this paint. I love that look so much. Uh, so what we're gonna do is step over to the wire wheel and get everything I want on that right now. And then we'll come back here and do the finished sharpening and then polishing on this. All right, we're back to the belt sander. Uh, I've got this set up here in the press to do the first pressing and this is not the wedging This is just setting it up a little better. I like to do it this way. You'll see it once I press it on how it works ah, I made a super stupid mistake. I used a blunt chisel on the end. I should not have done that So stupid got a crack in here so the only way to save this, if I can, I have to mount it like really tight to that shoulder, the, in here. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna keep going and then if it doesn't work out, we will restart. Peter's just setting up here to handle the Blackhawk hatchets. And this is the stark contrast to what I'm doing over there. I spent a lot of time that this handle will fit in here. I'll show you when Peter does it that we don't have to fiddle, you know? And that's such a big winner for quality of fit and then for us to be able to get it done.
These are all pre-sold. Thank you to everybody who's placed an order for one of these. We're on track for our monthly quotas. If you're interested in one, you can jump on the website, get a pre-order in. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I left it a little bit thick too, just because you'd probably be wearing gloves when you swing a Pulaski, but yeah, we'll leave it there. With a little bit more finish work to do, but let's get that uh, head on here before we invest any more time into the handle, because you never know what could happen in the next step. That went just perfect. I'm really, really happy how that wedged out. Just gonna start into the hand sanding here. Let me tell you about today's sponsor as I sand this handle. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So suppose you were a guy kind of kind of like me, you know, making cool things in your backyard and you just wanted to sell something, you know, like let's say a nice Pulaski that you just finished up, but you didn't want to make a lot of dram about it. You just wanted to sell it and be done with it, but you don't have a website. Well, that's where Squarespace comes in. It's the one-stop shop creating an online presence for getting a website, for selling your product. Simple, professional, Squarespace. Even if you don't have a domain name, you could get that right at Squarespace. So maybe you don't need to sell something online, but you need to sell it somewhere. If you connect uh, your Squarespace app to your Square Reader and get a point of sale, you can sell something anywhere. Maybe you don't need to sell anything. Maybe you just need a professional looking website just to tell people about yourself. If that's something you think would help you out, head over to squarespace.com slash timd. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase. Found this box, and I think I actually originally made it for this Pulaski. It was a long time ago. This lip in here is a little bit damaged. I wasn't actually gonna originally sell this bad boy. I wanted to keep it for myself, but oh, it's just turned out so good. Thinking about changing that. Does it make sense? I don't know. Clean this up a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like it would certainly work for the perspective of shipping this thing out to get it. I think I'm going to just clean it up a little bit. Just kind of embrace that. It's a real old, it's the real McCoy here.
turned out so cool. Next week we're doing one more. Hope to see you back here. Till then, keep the forge lit.